Hello. In the next series of videos, we are going to talk about data converters. Uh, most signals in the physical world are analog quantities. Their values are continuous both in time and in amplitude. Uh, but sometimes it is required to convert these signals into their digital form, typically for them to be either processed or stored or transmitted using a digital system. Uh, the conversion from an analog signal which again is continuous in time and in amplitude into a digital one, um, which is essentially a sequence of zeros and ones, uh, is, is referred to as analog to digital conversion. And the system that performs such conversion is referred to as an analog to digital converter or an ADC uh, or an A to D converter. It's all the same thing. Now, once the signal has been processed by the digital system, uh, sometimes it is required to bring the signal back into the analog domain and that operation is referred to as digital to analog conversion and performed by a circuit known as a digital to analog converter or a D2A converter or just simply a DAC or DAC. So in general, a data converter is uh, a circuit that converts a signal uh, either from analog to digital form in the case of an ADC or from digital to analog form in the case of a DAC. Before we move into studying uh, different configurations and topologies for both ADCs and DACs, we're going to um, take a look at what a, a generic um, digital processing system looks like, and specifically the data conversion portions at the input and at the output, and also define some key terminology that we're going to be using and that it is required to understand the performance uh, of the performance and operation of both ADCs and DACs. So I've drawn here uh, a generic representation of a digital processing system and notice that it has at the front end an analog to digital converter and at the back end a digital to analog converter. So uh, we sample or we take an analog input which we have measured maybe with a, a transducer and we've converted into a, an input uh, voltage, let's say. And the first step into um, analog to digital conversion is always to run our signal through a, an analog filter. It's referred to as the anti-aliasing filter. And we'll take a look later on at what the purpose of that filter is. Uh, but for now, let's just say it's going to uh, unlimit or filter out um, our signal. is a low-pass filter. And so if I have initially a noisy analog input, let's say, what's going to come out of that analog filter. It's a, a filtered or a smooth out version of the analog input. Then I run my signal to through the ADC and what comes out of an ADC is already a, a digital signal. So it will be my uh, the digital version of my input signal and I refer to as my digital input signal, which is going to be a series, a sequence of zeros and ones. And the signal is now ready for processing by the digital processing system. And then once it is processed, the system outputs a, a digital output signal, which again is a sequence of ones and zeros. Uh, that signal gets fed into a DAC, and what comes out of the DAC is the staircase reconstruction of an, an analog signal, of the analog output signal. And we're going to see that the reason why it is a staircase reconstruction um, is due to the quantization that occurs uh, during the sampling process uh, and digitization process. And so that staircase uh, needs to be run through another filter at the output, the anti-imaging filter, is another low-pass filter, which basically smooths out that waveform and typically also in, uh, adds a, a small delay. But essentially we get a delayed uh, but smooth out version of our analog signal. Uh, so next we're going to take a look at some, some key terminology. We're going to look a little bit closer uh, into the ADC and DAC um, portions of that process. Thank you.